How are No, there. Hello, hello. Hi there. How's it going? Hello, thank you. Thank you. All right. How was your weekend? It was nice. Also, All I right. didn't do too much. All right. I'm glad that everything turned out pretty well. Do you know what that means? No. No? I'm glad that everything turned out well. Is um, I'm glad you're okay. Okay. Right. Turn down. Turn down. Turn, turned out. Doubt. Turned out, yes. Spell it? Doubt. Turned out. Okay. All right. So what else? So how was, how was you know, this uh, weekend? It was good. I went to I went to dinner at El Encanto se llama. Nice. And where is that at? I'm sorry. It was nice. Where, where, was, is, where is El Encanto at? Um, it was close to the beach. Oh, near the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool, you know. That's awesome. What about you? I had to study a lot. So I had a lot of work. <laughs> I was not really able to rest. I was um I was doing homework on Saturday and I was doing homework on Sunday and I was reading and I I, I went out but just you know to exercise. <laughs> so I went out for a walk. Because otherwise, you know, like too much stress, you know. But okay. um, but yeah, I didn't do anything special. Okay. Where are the other guys? Did you do you like to read? Um, I have to read. Okay. <laughs> it's different. I mean, I no, like reading. I like. like reading things that I I'm really interested in. Um, but I don't have like I don't have time to read a book for fun like, you know? okay. yeah because i'm pretty busy but I, I do read because i have to read <laughs> okay so what about you do you like reading yes i like because i love to read and by the way this this month i've been read i've been reading two i've been reading two or right. three books oh really what what books were they? Uh, I don't know how to how say it in English, but one is. Can I say in Spanish? Go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, El Diario de Anna Frank. Oh, okay. The uh, Anne, los... Anne Frank's journal. El Conde de Montecristo. Okay. Okay, so what are those books about? I mean, I know Anne Frank. What are, what is the other what is the other book about? Um, the Monte Cristo one. It is about a man that it was it was in love with a beautiful beauty girl and uh, with a beautiful girl. Uh huh. Yes and. I don't know, but the, the book is about a, a revenge, about many people that hurt him. There's no class today. There is a class today. I don't know where these guys are at. Hold on, I'm sending them a message. What is going on? Oh, I'll have a talk with them. It's so funny. What? It's so funny. 
Anybody else? Just me. Yeah, I think they're gonna be late, but it's weird that everybody is late. Hold on. There was second. So what else? So what? What about that book? Hold on. Anyways, we do have to start. So how far are you in the platform? I did until, um, let me see. I couldn't, I couldn't do, the, let me see. Oh yeah, you sent. I think I think you sent me a message. So if you want, um, share your screen, and we'll go over the parts that you need help with. Okay. Okay. Three eight is that I couldn't do. Oh, three point eight. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. All right. All right. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Claudia. Nice to see you again. Where have you been? Yes, I, I, my weekend was very fine. All right. We're good, guys. All right. Um, I would recommend you guys not to miss class. And the reason is this. If you need another scholarship from, from uh, and I'm going to tell this to everybody, guys. But if you need another scholarship from InsaFOP, you are not able to get another scholarship if you did not come to class if you had uh if you missed classes you know because um because mm. it's i think it's a scholarship for both of you right so yeah. so um so yeah so pretty much okay yeah so pretty much guys just be careful with, with that because i had some students who wanted to join to another course and they were not able to join because they were you know missing classes right so, um, so at least yeah. this week, guys, this is the last week, okay? At least if you're working, please connect with yourself, okay? Or anything, mm -hmm. all right? So anyways, uh, so let's go over the, uh, you said that you had issues with 3.8. So let's go ahead, uh, show me, can you share your screen with me? All right, and then we're gonna go over it. Share the screen or just, or just That's take the screen. Uh, okay. Yes. So how was your weekend, Claudia? Uh, my weekend was very fine, teacher. Uh, I went to my I went to my daughter to the beach. Uh, my husband also. And I studied a little uh, or a little in English or a few English. I don't remember. I studied English. Little or of, I just studied. I studied English. Yes. I studied English. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, on weekend, and uh, I tried to complete the platform, and but uh, I didn't finish. I okay. didn't finish yet. Chair. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, very good. Okay. All right, so let's go over. Let's go over that. Uh, so, what is the first mistake that you noticed there? Um, 
You can help if you want, Laura. And the second one. What exercise? It, it, like, just, just take a look at it. Uh, take a look at the screen. What exercise is, teacher? Um, that's number two. I mean, that's 3.8. 3.8, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm. So very good, right? So the uppercase, right? So you have to make sure that there, are, um, you shouldn't be using uppercase letters where, you know, there are, there aren't supposed to be any. So, I mean, just, just do it again, okay? And let's see what we have. All right. So you were good, you were good, Laura, okay? But I'm saying you, you, were, you, were, um, you were typing my grades in uppercase, okay? When you write okay. things down, you don't use uppercase and lowercase, right? See, see like that? All right, so that is, all right, so that's, so the, the answer will not be taken like that. It should be lowercase. Only my grades, all right, continue, had been good last semester, okay. All right, let's try to check on that and uh, see if it's good. No. All right, very good, Emer, welcome. Nice to see you here. All right, uh, let's do something, all right, um, Laura, because because we, I think we solved that like two weeks ago. All right, I am going to send you, can can do my favor, can you do my favor, guys? Uh, can you send the screenshot of your answers? Okay, because it's it's a lot of them. Uh, but that, that will be okay, Laura, okay? okay. Um, I think. We have to move on now. Hold on. So let's see if only my grades had been better last semester. All right, I'm going to give you the answer here. This is how you're supposed to have it. Uh, make sure there, you know, there aren't any extra spaces either. All right, that's okay. the next one. That's the next one. Next one, next one. Can I get a certificate? <gasps> I did got it already, already because you finished the platform? Almost, okay. very good. <laughs> just the 80%. <laughs> All right, very good guys, very good. All right guys, so uh, let's move on guys. All right, so today we're gonna talk about future perfect, okay? Now guys, future since, perfect. Yes, okay, since we did not have, you know, too much time, okay, uh, to talk about, you know, since we missed a lot, a, a lot of time, guys, because you guys were not here, right, uh, we got to hurry a little bit, okay, so anyways, guys, so when we talk about future perfect, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not, am I sharing something right now? You don't. Okay. Okay, very good. Let me go ahead and share them right now, okay? Uh, um, there you go. Oh, are you seeing one screen or two screens? Just one, right? Just one. Very good. All right, guys, so let's start talking about the plans for the future, okay? So if I wanna talk about a specific thing that I'm gonna be doing in the future, guys, we can use future perfect, okay? We can use what? Future perfect. Future perfect. Not future, all right, future. All right, future, future. perfect. Future. All right, very good, guys, okay? So what are your plans in three years from now, Imer? My what, my plan? Yes, what will you be doing uh, in three years from now? At this time, I will have been doing something 
I, don't, I will I have been doing shit. something, but you don't know what. Okay. <laughs> All right. Think about what you 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 know. Think about what will be your accomplishments. Probably, I then, will. Okay? Probably I will have studied at a master or uh, something. Very good. Very good. Okay, Claudia. What are your plans in three years from now? Um. In the next month, I will. I will. I mean, in three in three years from now, not not in. Ah, in three years. years. In yes. three years. Ah, in three years, I will. Uh, I will. I will have. Um. I know, I, I, yes, I will have, um, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. I mean, just say whatever you want to say. Don't worry. Yes, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I will have, um, um, I will have a study. No, I will have learned. Okay, I will have uh, learned. I will have learned. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no, I will have learned. I will have learned English very well. Okay. Okay. For example. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, Laura. Uh, so, what are your plans in three years from now? Well, my plans in three years from now are uh, we have get a promotion promotion in my job. Uh, we have a, a better salary, uh, of course, and all and always. Uh, and also, um, excuse me. And also, I will have travel uh, to United States, and we have worked over there. Okay. And also, I will have I will have get my my own house and a car as well. And. That's that's all. all right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, good job, guys. So you all have plans for the future, right? So the the reason why I mean the 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 usage, guys, of future perfect is because we use it for talking about something that will be completed at some point in the future. What do we use it for, guys? Something completed. All right, something. Okay, but I mean we can talk about the future if you use, you know simple future and simple and uh, future progressive but what is the difference what do you something think is the difference Zimmer? i will going to do or i something that i expect in the future something like that. okay uh hold on hold on guys somebody cannot connect right now All right, very good. Okay, something that will be completed at some point in the future. So this is the difference, guys, okay? At some point in the future, okay? All right, at a specific time in the future, okay? All right, so please highlight that, okay? Very good. So let's take a look at one example, okay? Uh, Claudia, would you please be so kind to help me read? Yes, uh, Tamara will have completed her bachelor's degree by June. Okay, Tam Tamara will have completed her bachelor's degree by June. Her bachelor's degree by June, okay? Very good. Yes. Very good, okay. All right, next one, Laura. A customer service department we have been operating for two years by them operate. Very good. Okay, the customer service department will have been operating for two years by then. Okay. Now there is a difference here, guys. Okay, one of them is future perfect, and the other one is future perfect continuous. 
which one do you think is future perfect continuous? Mm -hmm. The second one. The second one. Very good job, Laura. Okay. The second one is future perfect continuous. Okay. Hey, welcome back, Karina. Okay, so future perfect continuous. I the thing right. is I'm in the car, that's why. That's okay, that's okay, right? Just as long as you're connected with the cell phone, it's right. Thank you for being here. All right, so future perfect right here, okay? All right, guys, so so what is the difference in the structure, guys? What is the difference between future per I mean future perfect and simple future? What do you think, Emer? Sorry, I was sneezing. Um what was the question? <laughs> so what is the difference between simple future and future perfect? No one is at future perfect is complete and the second one is operate. Okay, let's let's break this down, okay? Tamara, what is what is Tamara in the structure? Subject. Okay, very good. Okay, Tamara is the subject. Okay, all right. So we got the subject right here. Okay, what is will have here? Now these guys. Okay, you're always gonna use this. Okay, will have. Always, 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 guys. Okay, this is the auxiliary. Okay. If it is third person, if it is first person, it doesn't matter. You will have, you will use, will have, okay? Tamara will have, okay? And then we have what? What is completed? The verb. Very good, okay? It is the verb in what form, guys? In past perfect. The verb in past in participle, past. very good. Past. Okay. No. The verb in past participle, all right? Good job, guys. Okay, Tamara will have completed her bachelor's degree by June. Okay, now notice the notice here, guys, that this is the complement. Okay, but this guys is giving us when I say by June, guys, what is that? What do you think? For that time. Oh, very good. This is a time reference. What is it? Time reference. Time reference. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, all right. So let's 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 break it down like this, you guys. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the structure. Okay. So first of all, what is the first thing that we have? Subject. The subject. Very good. Subject. Okay. Hold on. Uh, okay. We have the subject, and then what? Auxiliary. Okay, we, we have, have auxiliary, we'll have, okay. And then what? The verb. In the verb. Okay, and past participle. And then what? The complement. The complement. And then you have the complement, mm -hmm. which must include a time a uh, time reference okay so these guys okay this is basically the structure of what you will be what is it what is, what is it? okay so this is basically guys you know the, the the regular structure right all right so this um let me And there you go, okay. So it's easier for you to remember that way. All right, guys, so so this structure right here, guys, okay, is basically what you're gonna be seeing with any sentence in present and now uh, in future perfect, okay? All right, so far so good? Yes, we're good. Now remember guys, we usually use past participle verbs to talk about the past, but in this case, we are not going to talk about the past. We're going to talk about the future. The future. We are going to talk about the future. Okay. So, hey, what is the structure for a negative sentence? What do you think? Want. Want have. 
Very good, okay. It is the same thing, guys. Okay. Or you can say want have, okay. I want to have, okay. Simple as like simple as that, okay. All right, what is the structure for our question? What do you think? First day auxiliary. Very good have. job, okay. Now we'll have uh -uh. Okay, this, be careful with this, okay, because it, it will be this way, okay? Yes. Will mm -hmm. plus subject, okay? All right, take a look at this, okay? Will you, and then have, right here, schema, give it the color code, okay? Will you have, okay, verb in past participle, and the same thing happens here, okay? There's another thing that we need to add here. What is it? Hmm? Plus, we're missing one thing here. Plus, question mark. mark. Okay? okay, we need a question mark here, right? And that's it, okay? So this is the structure for a question, all right? Did you write it down? I mean, uh, let me know, okay? So, Emer, what do we use present perfect for? I mean, future perfect for? Good question. <laughs> uh, Laura, what do we use future perfect for? Um, in action in the past, complete. The no, not in the past, guys, okay? In the future, I'm sorry. Okay, I completed action in the future at a certain time in the future, okay? Uh, Remember time. that, okay? At a certain, at a specific time in the future, all right? That future, all right? So, Emer, what do we use future perfect for? A uh, situation that is complete in the future. A situation that will be completed. That the, will be complete. In the future at a certain time, okay? At a certain point in the future, mm -hmm. got it? Claudia, what do we yeah. use future perfect for? Uh, I use the future perfect in, in some time, no. Yes, in a situation that I will complete, complete at the future, in, in, a the, specific, in, the, in the future, repeat, in the future. In the future, in the specific time? In a specific time in the future. Okay. All right, repeat, in that specific time in the future. In the specific time in, in a, the future. In a specific time in the future. In, in a specific time in the future. Very good job, okay? Very good, okay? All right, guys, okay, all right. Emer, what do we use? It's future perfect for five, four, three, two. A situation that will be completed at certain time in the future. Very good, okay. All right, very good, guys. Very good, okay. All right, guys, so let's take a look. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we should see David, more examples before this. Go ahead. Could you give us an example in a question, please? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm about to give you examples right now. Okay. okay. All right, guys. So, anyways, all right. So, four questions, guys. You have to follow the structure, but we're going to see that in a moment. Okay. Right now, we're going to take a look at some more examples. Okay. All right. So, Claudia, do me a favor and give me a subject. A subject. Um... Cheyenne, thank you. No, all right. Give me any subject. <laughs> uh, I, uh, in. I will have. No, just just give me a subject, all right? It's okay. A subject, a, a subject. Yes. Uh, I. Okay, right. Give me a subject that is not I. Okay. Okay. She. She or she. She. Okay, very good. She. Okay. She. she. Okay. Uh, okay, right? All right, uh, Emer, give me the auxiliary. Will. She will what? Have. Very good, okay. Notice, guys, that even though it is third person, it doesn't change, okay? 
Very good. Laura, give me a past participle verb. Driven. She will have driven. Very good. Okay. Uh, Claudia, give me a compliment. And a time verb. No, give me a compliment. Just the, just the first part of the compliment. Then we're going to talk about the time verb. It um, could be... Um, July next year. She will have driven. Um, I mean, yeah, good. Driven, driven a car. Driven a car. Driven a car, very good. Uh, on July. Okay. No. She will have driven a car. In July, or by in this case, by. No. Okay. When you guys, the preposition that you must use in, in the case that you're talking, this is usually the preposition, guys. Okay. All right. Not all the time. All right. But if you're going to specify a specific time in that future, okay, right? She will have driven a car by July, okay? Very good, okay? Good job. Applause for you guys. Beautiful, 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 all right? Hey, guys, applause. <laughs> Come on. All right, very good. Um, Emer, give me mm -hmm. another example, all right? Let's talk about, give me a name, okay? Can we use names, guys? Can we use animals? Can we use... People, can we use things? Can yeah. we use ideas? What? Laura. <laughs> All right, Laura. Laura, what? Laura will have visited. visited. Talk, All right, that, that is good. Okay, but let's talk about accomplishments, okay? What will you have accomplished, Laura? Laura will have, think about an accomplishment, guys. Do we all know what accomplishment? We'll have learned visited, a new vi language. Visited, visited the Times Square. Okay, okay, we'll have visited, okay. Mm -hmm. The Times Square. Times, okay, there's no Times article square. here. Okay, Times Square, okay. Okay, Times Square. Actually, Bye. guys, you can say the Times, because you're gonna be specific later, the Times Square. Because it's a place. Garden, okay. Very good. I think it's like this garden. Okay, very good. Really, really good job. Okay, applause for Laura, right. guys. Good job, Laura. Um, all right. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you applaud, Emer. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, Emer, give me another example. Okay, let's talk about an artist that you like a lot. Uh, David. Go ahead. Um, the example didn't uh, isn't uh, time. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, yeah. We're missing, guys. We're missing the time reference. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. All right. So let's have a time. Emer, give me a time reference. Thank you, Laura. Thank a you. Time reference. Yes. What do you mean with time reference? Next month. Say the prophecy. Well, Laura will have visited the <laughs> Times Square Garden. Okay. Next month. Next. Okay. Yeah, props, or you can say, I think, I think, guys, it's just called like this. Next year. Times for a garden, because this is a, a proper noun. So, Laura will have a city times for a garden next month. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, good job. Good job. Uh, Emer, give me, give me, give me another example. Okay. Let's talk about someone that you like. And do me a favor, guys, in the chat room. Give me one example. Send me one example, a perfect example, okay? In third person. Talk about, I don't know, maybe an actor or maybe an actress that you like. Uh, I don't know. Or talk, talk about an idea. You know what? Let's talk, about an, let's talk about an idea. For example, guys, you can say, you can say um, artificial, see? Artificial intelligence will have dominated dominated okay very good okay will have dominated the world. the world by the time we have time to react to it okay so these are here guys when i say by the time we have time 
you know, we have time to react to it, okay? This, this is a time reference as well, okay? All right, so see, I'm not talking about a person now, I'm talking about, I'm talking about an idea, right? I'm talking about artificial intelligence. Anything, guys, anything that, anything that works as a subject can be used here instead, okay? You don't necessarily need to talk about a person. Just like in Spanish, okay? You don't necessarily need to talk about a person or a dog or, you know, or an animal or something, right? You can talk about ideas and that can become the subject of the sentence, right? Sounds good? Yeah. Right, very good. Okay, all right, good job. All right, so guys, everybody, okay, Imer, I don't see you typing in, sir. I need to see oh, an example right yeah. now, okay? All right, so everybody send me your example. Uh, I got, I got Loris, thank you. Adele will have given a concert by next year. Okay, very good job, okay? This is a perfect example. Good job, good job, Laura. All right. Uh, I think you got this one, okay. All right, so while I wait for the rest, hold on. All right, while I wait for the rest, guys, okay? Let's talk about A different type of exercise, okay? All right, let's talk about negative forms, guys, okay? Can I say, um, they won't have arrived on time. Well, they won't have, they won't have arrived home by the time I cooked well, I, uh, by the time I, um, I finished making dinner. Would this be a good example? They won't have arrived home by the time I finish making dinner. What do you think about that, guys? What is the right. question? For me, is, it, uh -huh. it makes sense. Okay, all right. This is the exact okay. same thing, guys. Okay, it's just a negative example. Okay, it's a, it's a, an example in negative form. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. uh, Claudia, I'm still waiting for your example, Claudia. Uh, and then uh, Laura says education will have changed much by in the negative, in negative no, form. No, no, just in positive. Okay, positive. All right. Uh, now, Claudia, you say education will have changed. This too much is incorrect. And then the 2022, you do not use, you never use articles before years. Never, right? It's by mm -hmm. 2022, okay? Education will have changed a lot, okay? To change it to mm -hmm. that, okay? Education will have changed a lot by 2022, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. So let's change that. Uh, Emer, my favorite band, will have released a new album by the end of the month. Very good. Remember, Emer, punctuation, right? Punctuation, guys, okay? Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, now, do my favor. Everybody send me an example in negative form, okay? And uh, Emer, give me an example in negative. Right now. Yes. Uh, David <laughs> won have traveled. Tra how do you uh, travel? Traveled. Traveled to the beach. To the beach. To the beach. Uh, by the, uh, at the hall, sorry, without by. Uh, in the holidays. <laughs> okay. And I mean, during. During the holidays. During holidays okay david won't have traveled by uh to the beach during the holidays during holidays okay okay right very good okay i mean that's that's a time reference all right very good uh send me your examples in negative guys okay yeah. right very very good job okay all right, Claudia, I need you. I need your examples in positive and negative, okay? And uh, Laura and Emer, send me your examples in negative. And let's talk. Ah. About, and 
let's talk about questions, okay? Yes, send me your example okay. in negative form, okay? In negative. Uh, yes, Claudia. Uh, you need, you need okay. to send me the one in positive and the one in negative, okay? Yes, Fine. yes. Um, could be uh, the zoo. I mean, you need, the, you, the... Need, you need to send it in the chat. <laughs> ah, the chat, okay. Yes, 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 okay, very good. All right, guys, so for questions, guys, will give me a subject, Laura. Um, Estrella. What? Laura or, or Gloria? Okay, well, Gloria, all right, let's talk about Gloria, okay. Well, Gloria, and why, all right, and what comes next, guys? Uh, will, will Gloria have? Very good, okay, take a look at your, uh, you should have this, guys, okay, you should have that, this down in your, in your notebook, guys. Will Gloria have, and then the structure is the same, right? So, will Gloria have what? Will have to work. work. Okay. Will Glor Okay. Will Glor Will Gloria have worked? Worked. Mm -hmm. During Christmas Eve. <laughs> you can say, guys. Okay. Will Gloria have? All right, it's just, you have to make sense of the idea, okay? Don't give me just first because, okay? Will Gloria have finished? Okay, finished her homework before I arrive. Okay, will Gloria have finished her homework before I arrive? Got it? Habrá Gloria terminado su tarea antes de que yo llegue. Got it, guys? Okay, you can also use WH questions, okay? What will Gloria have, have accomplished when, um, when she graduates? Or, you know, yeah, you can say that when she graduates from college. So what will Gloria have accomplished when she graduates from college? Okay. All right. So what do you think about this? Okay. This is another example, guys. Now we're using WH questions. Okay. All right. Give me a question, Laura. Let's see your example. Okay. What will... Okay. Okay. Oscar. Have. By the way, guys, everybody send me a question as well. Okay, send me questions in, in the chat. A question in the chat. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so, what will Oscar have? Achieved. Okay, achieved. Very good. What will Oscar have achieved? By the time. By the time, very good. I finished. I bet, okay, remember here? Or it's that in I... the present, okay? By the time I finish. Yes, by uh -huh. the time I finish. It's not I finished, by the time I finish. Oh, okay. I finish. I go back. No. You're good. So far, so good. Okay. This is good. Okay. So, what will Oscar have achieved by the time I finish? My, I don't know. My what? My, my, my English course. Very good. Okay. My English curse okay all right what will oscar have achieved by the time i finished my course okay good job all right good job Emer, give me your example Emer. uh what will laura laura okay what will laura 
I'm gonna mute you guys because there is TV in the background. Okay, what will Laura what? Have done. Have done. After she finished English course. <laughs> After she finished English course. Mm. I'm not sure if it's. After she uh, finish. With finish. All right, guys, what's wrong here, guys? Is finish in past or finish? It's in the in... present. Oh, okay. Remember, you're talking about the future, man. So here you can't use the past, okay? You were not using the past here. So, okay. but, but there's a mistake here, guys. This is basic English, man. This is not a mistake for finishes. Okay, finishes. Hello. Very good. Okay, after she finishes what? Uh, her English course. Her English course. Very good. Okay, what will Laura have done after she finishes her English course? Okay. Now, you have to make sense of the example, right? Because this literally says, ¿Qué habrá Laura hecho después de terminar su curso de inglés? Okay. David. Shouldn't this be before she finishes? All right. I mean, you can use it like this too, right? I'm sorry, Laura. Go ahead. Just with what can I, can we do question with this this form? Oh yeah, we're just, missing the question mark. Just just with what? No, no, with everything, with every WH question. You can do like very. You can do like when, how. You can say how. Oh, hold on. I'm going to do this. Okay. You can say, for example, how will Claudia have arrived home if she, well, not, let's not use it. Okay. How will Claudia have arrived home um, if before, okay, before I do, <laughs> all right? So how will Claudia have arrived home before I do? All right, you can use it like this, okay? Como habrá Claudia, como habrá Claudia llegado a casa antes, de, antes que yo? Got it? Okay. That before I do it, guys, is, all right? So very good job. All right, Emer, give me, uh, let's give me another one. Give me one with when, okay? When, let's use when. When will we? Mm -hmm. When will 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 we, Cheyenne? Okay. All right. <laughs> you have to use Cheyenne, guys. You get some more. Right? You are falling in love. Again. You are falling in love with Cheyenne, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You that you should say you are in love. Okay? When will you, Cheyenne? You say uh, Cheyenne every have, single class. <laughs> have visited. Uh, when will Cheyenne have visited? David at his. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and he's uh, home. Okay. At uh, his house. Okay. At his house. Okay. When will Jan have visited David at his house? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, if you ask questions, guys. All right. For example, we're we're already using the word when here, which you know, talks about time, okay? So you don't need to specify more time here. In some scenarios, you might be able to, right? But in this case, guys, it, it makes sense. Like this, guys, okay, it makes sense like this, okay? So when will Chan have visited David at his house? We are already talking about time. Yes or not, guys? Why are we, why can we infer that we are talking about time? With when? Because we're using, right? We're using when, we're using the WH word when here, which talks about time. Got it? Very good, very good. Okay, let's take a look at your examples. All right, so Ymir says, what will Laura have done after she finished? All right, Ymir, let's correct that, brother. <laughs> it is below. And you're missing, there is another mistake. Ah, uh, really? Yes. He finishes English course. What is what is that? Uh, how will Christopher have bought a car in five months? Very good, Laura. Remember capitalization, right? How should be capitalized, and you should uh -huh. have a question mark at the end. But very good. Okay, the structure is good. 
All right. Okay. Uh, Claudia, we're still missing your example, okay? I, I think... was going to, I was wanting to write, okay? Oh, okay, all right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> what will Laura have done after she finishes her English course? Okay, good job, Emer. All right, all right, guys. I think that you got it. Do you have a question here? No. 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 All right. So I have a small exercise, guys. Okay. So, um, so we're gonna see uh, more about this tomorrow, but uh, I do have this this exercise. Okay. All right, so let's try to complete it, guys. Um, I, I mean, it's only three of us, so it's 15, 15 of them, okay? So let's try to do the first one, and you tell me once, you, okay, when, once you're done, okay? So I'll leave you there, okay? So let's finish, you guys. Work together, okay? So what do you think about number one? What What is number one? I will have leave, leave. No, it's left. I'm right. not gonna give you the answer, guys. Okay, you have to talk. I say yourselves. In my opinion. Write it, it down in your notebooks, guys. You have to answer them in your notebooks, all of you. <laughs> I think, in uh -huh. my opinion, the answer is I I will have left by six. Okay, good job, all right? It might be true. What do you think, Laura? <laughs> I don't know because I don't know by six. I will have by left. six. That's that's absolutely Time. fine. I will have left by six. I mean, it makes sense. Me habré, hours, me habré so. ido a las seis para las seis. Ya con okay. seis. Right, got it? Yes. When you uh, say that by guys here, it means para cuando, right? Like, like you're giving like, you know, when that time arrives, okay, when you say bye guys, okay, you're saying Here's basically, guys, okay, let me give you a small representation, okay? So I, let's say that I'm I am going to exit, okay? So there is an exit here, exit, okay? So I will have left 6 p.m., okay? These guys right here, this is when I cross the door, you know, this is when I cross the exit, okay? 6 p.m., okay? This is the future, okay? Okay, this is the future, and I'm giving a specific time in the future. Got it? So when it is 6 p.m., guys, I will have exited the room, okay? I will have left the party or whatever, you know, whatever situation I encounter myself in. Okay? All right, very good, guys. So put it down in your notebook, okay? Make sure you write that down. And let's continue. So, Claudia, what do you think about number two? Number two. Yes. Um, will have you finish the report? Do you have by the, the deadline? Okay, will looking. have Hold will on, have Laura. you finish? Hold on, Laura. Give me one second, okay? Do you have the structure written down in your notebook? Do you have the structure uh -huh. written down in your notebook? Okay. Que, que si tiene la estructura anotada en su cuaderno. No, no, I, I, I don't have this here. But I think is uh, will, uh -huh. will you, yes, will you have, will you have finished the report by the deadline? Okay, very good. Okay, finish. Would, would that be, will you have finished or will you have finished? Finish. 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 With, okay. with ED at the end of okay. the world. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good job. All right. That is right. All right. Very good. Uh, Laura, what do you think? What, what do you think about number three? Um, I think, but I'm not pretty sure, that will be when... Will we have done everything? When will when will have done every everything? Very good. Okay, good job, Laura. Emer, all right. Re write it down in your notebook, guys, please. Okay, I need you to show okay. me your notebooks after, after this. Okay. 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 Okay
Okay, okay. Kimber, what do you think about number four? The number four is she will have finished her exams by then so we can go out for dinner. Beautiful, Emer. Okay, All right. Do you have it written down in your notebook already, Emer? My notebook is worth. <laughs> okay, <all> right. <laughs> All right, you'll have to show me the screen then, okay? It's easier if you use a notebook, okay? Claudia, yes, is what is notebook. uh what do you think number five is? Number five. Mm -hmm. You five. will you will have yes, you will have read no no yes I don't I don't remember past participle of read. Red. Red, uh eh, you will have read the book before the next class. Very good. Good job. Yeah, plus for Claudia. Ever, I All right. Very good. Very good, guys. Awesome. Okay. Do we have any questions so far, guys? Clear, clear, clear as water or clear as coffee? As it's tequila. That's tequila, I guess. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so we'll complete more exercises, guys, in the next class. Okay, all right. Um, practice, guys. Okay, there are some exercises that you can do in the platform. All right, so if you have not finished those exercises, go ahead and please do so. All right, uh, we're gonna talk, guys, about we're gonna talk about future perfect continues. Okay. I know, guys, that some of you might have already finished. Hey, take a look at that, all right? That's future perfect too, right? Might have already finished, okay? I know that some of you might have, I'm, I'm sorry, that is not future perfect, okay? <laughs> I might have already finished the platform, guys, but I still need you to uh, join early, okay? All right? Because we still do practice, guys, and on top of that, guys, we only have three days, okay? Just join early for the next three days, okay, Emer? We're good, Claudia. <laughs> All right. Even if you're working, guys, okay. I mean, use your cell phone if you want. I don't. All right. And this, guys, this is the exercise for future perfect, which is pretty easy, guys. But we're gonna get more practice tomorrow, okay? Anything you need, guys, please hit me up on WhatsApp, and we're gonna go from there, okay? Thank you very much for joining, guys. Thank you, Laura, for being early. Thank you, Emer. Thank you, Claudia. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. See you. See you tomorrow. Take care.